Stellantis and Ford both confirmed they're back at the negotiation table this afternoon as thousands of union members with the United Auto Workers continue to hit picket lines. No details from the ongoing negotiations with Stellantis or Ford are being released right now. Meanwhile, our Alicia Bergio has been in Warren with the union members all morning long. She brings us their reaction. As day 11 of the United Auto Workers strike against the big three continues to gain momentum, still no sign of either side willing to make a deal. And outside the Stellantis parts distribution plant here in Warren, auto workers are not afraid to have their voices heard. No contract! No work. Tensions high Monday morning as contract negotiations have yet to be settled after UAW President Sean Fain announced the strike of 38 plants only a few days ago. It's time to show the companies we are united and we are fired up and we are ready for a record contract. The strike now grabbing national attention. President Joe Biden expected to meet with auto workers on the picket lines in Metro Detroit Tuesday afternoon. Following that visit, former president and GOP frontrunner Donald Trump also planning to make an appearance to show his support in Clinton Township on Wednesday. What do these visits mean for union workers ahead of the next election? <laughs> It shows that we are still a very relevant demographic that, you know, both parties need to pay more attention to, do more to support us, and not just at election time. They need to be more sympathetic of our cause, that we are not here just for us. We are not greedy people that are just looking to get another house, another boat, another car. We're here to try to ensure that the future of the middle class is sustained. If he's not here to support us, we don't want him here. Bottom line, so he's here to get in line, to push what we're looking for. We bring them, bring them. We want everybody that's here to be here to, to supporting us. A lot happening here in Metro Detroit, and of course, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments involving contract negotiations. But for now, reporting in Warren, Alicia Bergio, CBS News, Detroit. Alicia, thank you. These strikes continue as we learn more details about the deal between Canadian union workers and Ford. The deal was approved only by a small margin. 54% of uniform members voted to approve it. That deal includes a 10% wage increase the first year. That starts today. It's followed by a 2% and 3% increase over the next two years of the contract. We also know this agreement eliminates the health care deductible for all current and former employees.